Well, I think personal sanctions on, on the policymakers, these are kleptocrats at the end of the day. Uh, what's happening today in Lebanon, I call mafia economics. These politicians and policymakers are holding Lebanon and the Lebanese hostage. The only language I think they will understand is personal sanctions on their own fortunes, on their deposits, on their assets outside. Once you do that, perhaps they will be forced into taking action to rescue the economy and, and the Lebanese. I don't see any other tool at the moment. They don't seem to be listening to economic reasoning. They don't care about the misery of their population. In fact, the, the deep financial crisis that the World Bank is talking about is already number one. I mean, we've passed Chile. Chile, decline of GDP by 46% from peak to trough. I think we're already there. This is the biggest financial crash in history. This is the biggest Ponzi scheme. And despite all this, despite all this, they have not budged. They're still talking about forming a government uh, 10 months into the process. Uh, these are kleptocrats. And they need to be dealt with. I want to ask you about that specifically, because essentially what we saw over the last week or so is Gibran Basile, the head of the largest uh, political bloc, going to Hassan Nasrallah and saying, help us, help us form a government. When you see something like that happening, does it make you wonder about what's actually um, going on in the minds of Western policy leaders? Because it seems to me that when the only organization able to get fresh dollars into the country is Hezbollah, and you have made Hezbollah a U.S.-designated and Western-designated terrorist organization, aren't you just helping the problem if you don't at least make an attempt to save the state? Well, I think the West, uh, and by that I mean Europe and the United States have actually failed Lebanon. This is a time at which it's not just a matter of talking, it's a matter of actually taking action. And there have been all sorts of warnings, including about sanctions, but nothing actually has happened. And therefore, uh, the politicians locally here say, well, okay, we hear you, you're not doing anything, so we'll just continue along our path. Uh, what they're concerned about right now is preparing for elections. And the fact that the de Lebanese pound depreciates and you have hyperinflation only makes it cheaper to buy votes. That's what they're counting on. And they will get hold of whatever dollars come in through remittances, through smuggling of subsidized items. Uh, you, you've, you've got your exchange rate up there. Uh, we've reached a peak of around 18,000. But that is not the limit. There is no reason why it will stay at 18,000. You've destroyed confidence in the currency, you've destroyed confidence in the central bank, and you've depleted the reserves. So the market, as it is, uh, has no confidence in the future.